Good afternoon, Jovita. Good afternoon, Mom. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Jovita Arong Nanoy. I'm 28 years old. I'm a single mother and I live in Cebu City. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid, Mom, because I want to help my family. Okay, why, okay why you choose Malaysia when there's a lot of other countries? I choose Malaysia because it's much more nearer here in the Philippines. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? I am qualified for this job because I am hardworking, Mom, and I am honest. Okay, may I know what is your educational level? I'm a high school graduate, Mom. Okay, what is your recent experience? I work as a production worker before in Mipsa. Okay, have you worked abroad before? Mom? Have you worked abroad before? No, Mom. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, Mom, my own son. Okay, how about elderly people? Yes, Mom, my grandmother before. Okay, do you have any other special skills? Mm, I love cooking, Mom. Okay, are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores, which do you like most? Cooking, ma'am. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother, ma'am. Okay. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours? Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and going to bed? Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not to hold it anymore. Instead, yes, ma'am. Your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Okay, can you describe for me your ethics? I'm hardworking, ma'am, and... And discipline. Okay, how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I, I can assure that I will work hard in Malaysia, mom, because I need a job. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, mom. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation for the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history? History of sickness, example, breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Have you, are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you on any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. 
Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Jovita. We have finished yes. our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, number one. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I think I will continue to finish my contract, ma'am. Okay, number two. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Mm. I'm Jovita Arong Nanoy and I like to work in Malaysia as a domestic helper because I want to help my family and I also need a job right now. Okay, Jovita, what do you want to tell the employer watching your video right now? Mm. I want to tell you, mom, sir, that you can trust me inside your house and I will obey all the rules and regulation inside. Okay, thank you very much, Jovita. We will update to your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Okay, ma'am. Thank you.